Talk Soup will not be seen at this time in order to bring you the following special program. He's probably the most entertaining person you know you could ever be around. We respect each other a lot and uh, we love hanging out. We have this, we love the, the jokes that we tell each other. He's a very tough kind of guy. We called him up and he invited us backstage and he was really nice and uh, it was a giant thrill. He taught me the difference between acting and performing. He taught me how to be a star. He taught me how to kill quickly and quietly. He's Senior Sock. Yes, Senior Sock. Discover how this popular Argentine took the entertainment world by storm. Meet some of the many Hollywood honeys who've spent the night in his sock drawer. Get the inside story from those who know him best on today's Celebrity Profile. Today, the name Senor Sock is known throughout the world. In addition to his frequent television appearances, he has starred on the big screen. No! And his records have sold millions. I am a sock. She is a nylon. And a sock feels no pain. And a nylon always runs. Yet few know the real story behind the legend. Stage manager Tom McNamara. I was there when Senior Sock made his talk soup debut. I knew right then a star was born. Oh, that was the highlight of Suzanne. I really love her. She's so beautiful. Hey, I know. Why don't we show it again? Yes, Fred, let us show it again, okay? Uh, excuse me, Senior Sock, but we've seen this clip like three times already. So? So? We've seen it three times? We will see it three more if I want. <sighs> Suzanne is a beautiful woman. But I want to see Suzanne again. Yes, throw it again. But what, what about the, the audience might want to see a Vicky clip or something else, a little variety? Vicky? You want to see Vicky? Vicky! She is nothing compared to Suzanne! She is not worthy of being a mole and Suzanne's behind! What? Nothing! Nothing! Get out of here! Ow. You bourgeois Ow. pig! Oh. Oh. Vicky! No. Now, let us see Suzanne. Born in Buenos Aires, but schooled in France, Senor Sark was first a huge hit on Argentine television. Come on, you can do it. Say right. it for me, Sock yes? Sock it to me. <laughs> Senor Sark! Comedian and Taco Bell spokesman, Paul Rodriguez. You know, people in the States have no idea how big Senor Sac is in all of Latin America. I mean, basically, it's Senor Sac, Julio, Gloria Stefan, Eddie Olmos. Senor Sac became so popular, critics said he could go on TV and read the phone book and it would get ratings. So he did. Pablo Hernandez, Pablo Hernandez, Pablo Hernandez. Pablo Hernandez, Pablo R. Hernandez. Still, he longed to prove himself on a bigger stage, Hollywood. Unable to crack the television market, Senior Sock began his American career on radio. She's such an attractive gal and so nice, you know, and she wants to be good. She's good at being bad, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we always had a lot of fun on that show. John Henson, Talk Soup host. Well, it didn't happen overnight, I'll tell you that. He's had to work very hard for his success in this country. I mean, who would have remembered that he was the original Will Robinson on the first season of Lost in Space? I will not work with freakish foreign footwear, adieu. Hmm. You and I are friends, Will Robinson. Oh, bite me, robot. His next attempt at television came on another famous science fiction show. Senior Sock was supposed to be the captain of the Enterprise, and he did a pilot, but then he just turned them down. Years later, he did make it into a Star Trek movie, but not as Captain Kirk. This planet is populated by nothing but hoochies, transvestites, and strippers. My kind of place. Ready to beam up, Captain? Not yet, Mr. Sock. His first agent, Barney Zellman. Oh, yeah, those are, the, those are the good old days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, he used to hang around at Dino's all the time. Oh, yeah, everybody knew him then. Uh, pretty soon he started making guest appearances. Uh, he, he played a, a ledger's bounty hunter on, on Bonanza. Oh, uh, tough guy. 
Yeah. Allegra's alien on uh, I Dream of Jeannie. Oh, that <laughs> other fellow. <laughs> oh, and and uh, Allegra's uh, celebrity on Gilligan's Island. Just how I like them, beautiful and dumb. <laughs> a few years later, Senior Sock landed a job as a regular on the Captain and Tennille show. I won't do it. I won't play Muskrat Sam. Ugh. Why not? Is it the costume? No, it's not the costume. Well, is it the script? No, it's not the script. Well, then what is it? The, the, I cannot shimmy. <laughs> I don't need your pity. <laughs> I didn't trust him. He used to steal my hat, hide it, and laugh at me behind my back. He's hot. The sock was fired amongst rumors of an affair with Tony Tennille. Things went from bad to worse. He was cut out of the final print of the movie Jaws 5, People Nothing, then had a forgettable stint on Saturday Night Live. Ah, satellite of love, my cotton butt. How can you call this satellite of love when there are not any chicks? Mystery Science Theater 3000 fired him after only three days. You know, for years afterwards, Senior Sock and Crow, they had a running feud. Well, then finally they made up when they met on Talk Soup. How dare you! Senior Sock! There's room for only one cheesy puppet on this show. Now get out! Oh, yeah? Well, you smell more like cheese than I do. Oh! What is that Parmesan on your breath? Huh? Why don't you get yeah. that tin can recycled, you bum? Get hey, out of here! Hey, Senior Wences is missing a shoe. Oh, keep yeah. Senior Wences out of that. I have a restraining order against him. Yeah, you oh. smell like a loafer. Oh. Yeah. Get out. Slacker. Get out. Slacker. Mm. Back to yeah. other space. Want to get a beer? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Mm. But coming to talk soup did more for Senior Sock than end a long-running feud. It started a show business legend. We'll see him appearing with some of the biggest names in the world when Celebrity Profile continues. Ooh la la. After many years of struggle and failure, Senior Sock quickly became a regular on Talk Soup. Entertainment reporter Steve Kometko. I think most people thought of Senior Sock as a fad, like a, a fish tie or, you know, a pet rock. But the more he appeared, the more his, his popularity grew. Insiders say there wasn't enough room for the egos of both the Sock and Kinnear. One had to go. Oh, the cool off, Sock! We really respect both of your work. But sometimes, due to budget constraints, you've got to make some changes. And we're going to have to let one of you go. So long, Soup Boy. It's been nice oh. working with you. Talk Soup needed a new host. Enter John Henson. Well, I wouldn't say that he picked me, but let's just say it was obvious that he had approval over the final decision. In fact, I remember the first time I met him, I, uh, I guess I made quite an impression on him. I don't know. I'm new here. New? Oh, well, that explains it. Well, see, here on Talk Soup, we show every Suzanne clip two or three times, sometimes four or five times. Executive producer, Alex Duda. They have great timing together, kind of like Martin and Lewis or Wheeler and Woolsey. Uh, maybe more like Woolsey and Martin. Say hello, dummy. Hello, dummy. Oh, dummy, don't be so dumb. <laughs> you wish me to tell the story about Harry Smith and the cow? No, dummy, that story is tasteless and unfunny. <laughs> oh, you are right, senior sock. I am such a dummy. Now, no, wait a minute. How dare you interrupt my act? Oh, some <laughs> act, I can see your lips move. Impossible, I have no lips. Hey, how come that dummy looks just like me? It does not. It looks nothing like you. It looks exactly like me. No, nothing like you. There is no difference between me and that dummy. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> you know, when guest stars come on, the first thing that they ask is, uh, do I get to work with the sock? Chicago Hope star, Adam Arkin. Dr. Shot saved me! A gang stabbed me and set me on fire and made me make the monkey noise! And not just... Dr. Shot. I'm not doing the sketch. But you must, Doctor! You've been training your whole life for this moment! No, I am not doing it. But what about your hypocritical? I'm not doing the sketch, all right? I'm not doing it! Get out of here! As an actor, he's an excellent piece of hosiery. Sparks flew when Fraser's Perry Gilpin guest hosted. Ooh, Perry, what's shaking, baby, huh? No, back well, off, Cotton Mouth. Well, Look, I am not about to be seduced but, by some philandering the, footwear. I've heard all about you, about the way you use women and then toss them out like some old odor eater. I have no intention of becoming another notch in your sock drawer. No way, not me. I am not. I am not. I'm not going to be lured into your web of sin. Kiss me. 
<sighs> Suzanne Summers was a frequent guest host, fueling rumors of an illicit affair. Ooh, I love chocolates. Oh, yes. It's empty. What happened to all the chocolates? Oh, well, I ate them. They're bad for you. Very bad, bad, bad. Yeah, well, I have something for you, too. For happy me? Yeah, happy Valentine's <gasps> Day. A can of starch. Oh, baby, are we going to party tonight? <laughs> oh. You know, I, I would love to record with him at some point. He and uh, Frankie Avalon won a Grammy for their work together. Let's all do the sock, do the senior sock. He knows how to rock. I'm an Argentinian sock. Woo! Let's all do the sock. Everybody sock. Everybody on every beach and every town of the day. Everybody yells. Oh, hey! Sock, 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 sock. Like Greg Kinnear, success on Talk Soup soon led to a number of movie roles. Pretty in Pink, again. See one, take one. Marker. Okay. Come on, Ducky, let's go find some chicks. It's Phil. And I'm staying home. Andy might call. Oh, come on. Did she call yesterday, hmm? No. The day before that? No. The day before that? No. What, what, what's, your, what's your point? When was the last time she called? 1986. Oh. Yeah, but, but there was that time in 1922 when the phone rang. 1922? 1922. It was a while ago. God, God, God! <laughs> but movies were only the beginning. A picture the studio declared just too stupid to release. We go now to Washington, where E's own senior sock put on a command performance for the president and Boris Yeltsin. So I ask, do you have any pictures of Hillary naked? He said no. So I said, you want to buy some? <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all week. Yes. <laughs> OK, it wasn't that funny. His show business success is certainly phenomenal, but it pales compared to the success he's had with Hollywood's sexiest sirens. Senior Sock's hottest romances, next. You know about me and Senior Sock? They know about me and Senior Sock! <laughs> Nicole, how about going skinny dipping? I'm not gonna do it, it's no. freezing. How about Naked Twister, huh? Yeah. Yes! Senior Sock's on-screen success is only half the story. Off-camera, he has been linked to a wide variety of Hollywood's loveliest leading ladies such as former NYPD Blue regular, Gail O'Grady. Where have you been? I, 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 but baby, I've been in Tahiti. Yeah, right. Uh, yes, take a look at me. Check out this tan. <laughs> you used no, me, you darn no, suck. No, no. I never said it would be forever. <laughs> you cheap uh, womanizing uh, uh, piece uh, of hosiery. Uh, uh, <laughs> dinner tonight, my love? OK. Ooh. Now, it's been said that El Senor spotted Amy Yazbek on Wings one night and demanded she guest host immediately. You want me, don't you? No, I'm... Yes. No. You're so cozy looking. He dropped Yazbek like a hot rock when he spotted Baywatch beauty Donna D'Erica. Charming and suave and irresistible as you might be. I can't. Well, why, why not? Well, because it says right there on the teleprompter. Oh, mm. excuse me a moment, my dear. I, I, I have to uh, change something. <clears throat> excuse me, Patrick, but mm -hmm. uh, I would like to make a little change in the teleprompter, yes. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really supposed to be making changes unless... What? I, like... I haven't seen your sock! Do as I say! Quickly! Okay. okay. Now, Donna says... <laughs> okay. For the last time, will you meet me after the show? Yes, yes, I love you, I need you, no. I abhor you. Uh, abhor me? That's supposed to be adore you! Ah, Patrick! Ah. Well, it was inevitable that the sock would meet his female counterpart, Joan Collins. She looked deeply into his eyes. Oh, yes. And slowly shook her head. Oh. Oh, darling, I do love you, and I adore you, but I can't. What? Not yet. I don't know you well enough. Oh, Joan, come on! Maybe next week. Ooh. Oh, Senior Sock has been with so many women, I don't know how he keeps track. Sometimes he doesn't. Senior Sock, yeah. it's me. <laughs> uh, hello, um, 
And you are... Uh, it's Jolie. Uh, uh, it's Jolie Fisher. Oh. You, you, know, you remember we met at that club on Sunset? Club what club? The Reinforced Toe. The Reinforced what? <sighs> you were so romantic and we danced half the night and then we went back to your place. Oh, we did? <laughs> yeah, you were terrific. Of course. <laughs> but uh, what are you doing here, uh, Julie? It's Jolie. Oh. Others refused to let go. He was handsome, debonair, sexy. Roseanne, must you dredge up the past again? Mm. Oh, hello, Yarn Belly. Oh, don't call me that. I hated it when you called me that. Well, you Just... didn't mind that weekend we spent together on the ranch in the Falklands. Roseanne, I told you never to mention that. It's over, over. The restraining order is still in effect. Mm. It wouldn't be if you hadn't left me for that floozy Suzanne Summers. How dare you speak of Suzanne like that? How dare you? I must have you. <laughs> What's the secret to his success? Baywatch regular Tracy Bingham. He's he's funny. He's he's sexy. He's he's one hundred percent cotton. Despite the parade of beauties in and out of his Malibu sock drawer, insiders say there's only one relationship he has that really matters. Oh, Suzanne Summer, star of Three's Company. I come from Argentina, my true love for to see. She's the sheriff, was terrific. The ratings were so high. If you kissed me on the lips, Susan, I would die. I lose control, I go insane when I look in your eyes. I even bought six tie masters, even though I have no thighs. Insider Patrick Duffy. I don't know how he did it, but Senior Sock got step by step moved to CBS just so he and Suzanne could be closer. Everybody knew about their affair, it was obvious. Suzanne would come in for rehearsal, a little late. Her breath reeking of fabric softener, little lint all around her mouth. It wasn't just some Hollywood fling. They really seemed to care about each other. When the sock began to put on weight. Senior sock, you're looking a little bloated. What happened? Too much figgy pudding this mm. Christmas, I'm afraid, Ted. Yeah. It was Suzanne who came up with the solution. It looks like a Thigh Master Plus, <laughs> just for me. Say what you want. It worked. Come on, John, feel my hiney. No. No, come on, come on, feel it. I can chew gum with this hiney. It's so hard. It's rock <laughs> Don't hard. Don't blow any bubbles. Oh, come on. Stop. You know, Senior Stock is very passionate and very emotional. And when he found out that my talk show was canceled, he went nuts. Apparently, Senior Stock is despondent. Senior Stock, it's, it's me. Greg, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, Greg, Greg, how could they cancel Suzanne? The best show on television. Okay. How can I go on? Don't do anything stupid, though. Stupid? You, you mean like canceling the only good show on television? Oh, Suzanne, her poor heart must be breaking. Yeah, she's I got that so other show with Patrick her. Duffy, though. It'll be fine. Patrick Duffy? Duffy? Oh, he is not fit to kiss her lovely feet. Besides, the show is only on once a week. Once a week. Could you eat but once a week? Well, I guess... Could you drink but once a week? Well, I mean, if you I think... I cannot go on. No, I no, do senior it. sock, no, don't do no, it. No, don't do end. anything. End, don't do end. anything. Ah! Oh, no! I love you. Oh, no, he's... Oh, oh my God, God. senior sock. <gasps> oh, that was fun. Exhilarating. Okay. Let's do it again, huh? All yes, right. let he's us do fine. it again. Senior sock didn't get to the top of the show business heap by playing it safe. Be warned, we'll see some of his more shocking comedy moments when Celebrity Profile returns. Oh, Paul, there's a smudge on your glasses. Take a look. Ah, I made you look. <laughs> oh. Lucky in love and with a white-hot career, who could blame Senior Sock if he were to rest on his laurels? Instead, he's become a comedy trailblazer. The Sock. Oh, hey, watch it, buddy. Oh, you know, the sock is the Ernie Kovacs of our time. He's changed the definition of comedy by doing the progressive kind of stuff he insists on, like his Howard Stern bit. Buy my book. Where are the lesbians? Come on, somebody strip. What's going on here? Then so nobody's ever tried anything like his Easter sock routine. Well, that wasn't so bad, now was it? Bite me! Despite critical raves, this controversial bit was banned in Boston. 
Can you believe that? Some guys actually put socks in their pants? How lame is that? What is that noise? What is that? Alan! Alan! Alan, what are you doing? What, is that you making that noise? Um, get, come on, man! I got a show to do! Cut it out! What is that? What is going on? What are you oh, oh, I couldn't breathe! Oh my god! Oh. What's next for the flamboyant footwear? More movies? His own show? Vegas, perhaps? Or will he just wind up another flash in the pan? A comet blazing brightly across the Hollywood scene for a brief moment, then disappearing back into the obscurity from which he came. Hey, what's this? How dare you end the show like this? Senior Sock. You're fired! Get out! Out! I am Senior Sock. Do as I say. But I have to finish the show. Bite me! I will finish the show! But... Mm. Take that! And that! And that! Ouch! Take that! And then! Mm. Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And remember, Emmy voters, this show will be eligible in the category of Best Children's Special, ages seven and up. Yes. But right. Senior Sock, this isn't a children's right. show, is it? But shut up, shut up, it's an easier category. Now get out of here. <laughs> On behalf of Celebrity Profile, this is Senior Sock saying thank you for watching and adios, everyone. Look around here. Hey, check out the blonde in the third row, Bill. Mm. Old or young? The young one, you know, over there. Healthy as a horse or a person with a disability that hadn't kept you down? Well, she looks pretty healthy to me, yes. Man or woman? B woman. Native American, B native B born, B immigrant? B I don't know. I, the... Straight or gay? Straight, I don't go that way, hey.